Hello everyone, in this video I am going to give an overview about uh, Neutrinology's API and also I am going to show you how you can debug Neutrinology's application. I created this small application here. There is a small button here. It is calling uh, this button action method which is uh, defined uh, here inside this uh, JS file. Here it is basically logging uh, NLOS global variable. Let's run it and see how it is working. I'm going to use new run to run my application. Here we can see our button here. But if we click uh, this one, uh, how about uh, getting the output? We basically need to uh, get the output of this one but we can, can't see uh, the output there are two ways to uh, get the output uh, basically this is needed uh, to debug your application the first thing is that uh, you can go to settings.json and you can uh, use a browser mode here but previously I was using window mode but in uh, browser mode uh, the application will be loaded into your uh, default browser I will stop uh, current application and uh, run it again thereafter the application will be launched uh, with uh, your browser so you can uh, use uh, dev tools to debug the application we have a console here as you already know if you click the button we can uh, see the output that is one way of uh, debugging so how about the other way without using the browser mode you can reset to the previous mode which is uh, window mode here we can see enable inspect uh, configuration attribute we can set this one into true but uh, importantly this feature uh, is only available in linux platform right now if I rerun the application and we can see additional uh, window here it is uh, very similar to the chrome's uh, dev tools we have console here and we can see the output that's the other way thereafter uh, let's check about uh, API Neutrinology's API if your application needs to do uh, some native things like reading file or writing file or executing some command uh, in operating system uh, you can uh, use a Neutrinology's API here you have a set of uh, modules, settings module and file system module if you need to handle uh, some uh, file reads or writes uh, like those things you have OS module uh, to if you need to sh uh, show some uh, dialogues or if you need to get some uh, environment variables or you need to run some commands in operating system you can use uh, OS uh, module thereafter you can see computer module inside the computer module there is a get rem usage it is returning the information about uh, the physical memory we have storage some things uh, about the JSON storage to write the data or get the data you have debug uh, module there's a deb uh, debug uh, log method here you can uh, basically log things to uh, neutrino.log file you have app uh, module here it refers to the running instance of application there's currently app.exe it will uh, close the application basically let's try one of uh, a method here let's try os uh, dot run command i'm going to simply copy this uh, example code into that method uh, i showed earlier button action I am going to remove that previous code and paste this one so 
so here we can mention the command we need to execute right so uh, let's uh, modify this one uh, into some command like uh, code it is basically like opening the visual studio code in this case i don't need any uh, like uh, things to be logged uh, here just remove this one since i modified this one i need to build the application using new build let's run the application but i think i turned uh, on that uh, inspector thing just uh, turn it off then uh, we can build uh, then i am going to run the application is in new run just click on this one so we can see that uh, command is uh, successfully executed so let's try another one we have get env which will return uh, env variables if we give uh, environment variable as a key let's copy the example code let's say we need to uh, get the value of user environment variable i'm going to build the application again let's enable that uh, inspector thing because i need to see the output from console let's run the application here we can uh, see the value of uh, environment variable likewise uh, there are several things can be used uh, in uh, neutral js application to do some native things you can try out uh, those things and we are in the progress uh, of adding some additional things like uh, notifications native notifications and uh, stuff like that so if you are having some idea uh, to suggest uh, some things to be added into neutrinology's api you can open up uh, future request uh, in uh, github so thereafter in next video uh, I'm going to uh, talk more about uh, Neutrino JS application development and uh, how we can uh, how you can write uh, some uh, a bit com complex application uh, using uh, react like uh, library uh, let's uh, meet in next video see you